All right, guys, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today, we're going on a little ride with my friend Randy right there. Big shout out to Nick. He wasn't able to make it, but he was supposed to come out with us as well. This is the, the crazy thing about this. This morning, I got up and I was thinking to myself, well, let me check the weather, right? Because supposedly, supposedly, there was a hurricane coming. And obviously it passed by already, but you would think that there would be a little bit of rain or something. So anyway, I checked the weather and it was 60%, 60% chance. And I'm thinking to myself, nah, I'm bringing my bike, you know, I don't care. And the thing is that sometimes 60% could be like crazy rainy, but there's other time that 60% has absolutely no rain like today and it is what it is you guys have heard me complaining about the weatherman a lot like seriously a lot but i guess you know sometimes it's better safe than sorry kind of thing but we are actually taking a little ride and hopefully it's going to be a nice one like i said the weather's really nice i figured that i talked to you guys or kind of share some stories about hurricanes because you know what we've been through some nasty hurricanes in the past here in Florida is one thing that we get every year you could pretty much guarantee a hurricane and it happens all the time but anyways before I get into that if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post videos I definitely appreciate that and I definitely enjoy this type of videos it's to me, it's so much fun. I'm gonna tell you, you know, there's nothing like riding with people. Sometimes riding alone to me is fun because I kind of dictate what I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna do, and the things that I wanna do. But you know, I do enjoy riding with a couple people. It's just a lot of fun to see multiple different bikes and all that stuff. To me, it's fun. And by the way, I don't know what's the deal with the bike. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But I kind of feel like it's misfiring sometimes. I'm gonna, you know, I'm about to take off and it kind of goes like pop, pop, and it kind of like it lose power for about not even a second and it feels like it's gonna turn off and then, you know, it comes back on. It's really annoying and obviously something wrong or something going on. Hopefully, you know, I was telling Randy and he said maybe the timing or something. I mean, again, hopefully not because that sounds like it will cost a lot of money. <laughs> and I don't want to spend any money right now on the bike. I got my truck that needs to be repaired. The AC is down and the truck is going to take priority because I've been spending a lot of money on the bike. Really have. Man, for whatever reason, it feels like there's a lot of traffic. Got a fellow guy with a roll key right behind me. Nice bikes, nice bars too. I have no idea what happened to that second camera. I guess we're going to have to roll with the first camera right here until we figure out what's the deal with that second camera. But here's the deal. Like I said, you know, i not a stranger to hurricanes at all. Really not. It happens all the time. And it's just one of those things that when hurricane season comes around, you really got to prepare. And there's a lot of preparations that we do in general in order to keep our family safe and you know there's going to be some things that that we do and essentially one of the biggest things you know is food water uh gas you know we have a lot of uh, kind of preparations to deal with that kind of stuff and again you know every single time now we're coming to 
hurricane season, we tend to buy a ton of water and we start, you know, we, we put that water away. And the thing about it is that you really don't want to do it when hurricane season is here. And again, you know, sometimes it happens. Sometimes we get it when hurricane season is here, but normally speaking, you don't want to. You want to get it before because you want to be able to have the stuff and not having to fight people about the stuff that we're trying to get. Again, it gets pretty crazy over here, you know. People get into fights, people attack each other, people fight each other, people do stupid things to each other over water. So you really want to get that stuff before, you know. So we tried to get some water, we tried to get some food, uh, we tried to get all those preparations in case the hurricane come, we could kind of like lay back and be like, all right, we straight, we got everything that we need to. And essentially that's one of the things that I talk about on my main channel, you know? I talk about preparations and preppings and, and things like that, really not so much in this channel. But, you know, being prepared is really a smart thing. It's something that everybody should do. And again, you know, you could buy things that it's just not gonna, you know, gonna get lose in a way for example you know we get some water and some food but let's think about this you know we got kids and the kids would drink all the water with no issue i mean none of that water is going to get wasted you know eventually when uh hurricane season is over we could literally uh tell the kids to drink the water and they would drink the water in a couple weeks is it, gone because that's just how it is you know kids would eat all that stuff man this place is gorgeous back here i never i don't think i've been through here and i was telling that to randy look at this this is gorgeous definitely randy knows some really really nice places to ride by Man, I'm starting to get wet. <laughs> This is unbelievable, you know. A lot of times we want to go travel and go to different places. Look at this. And, and just do different things, right? It happens all the time. People want to travel and they're just, you know, we need to go here or we need to go there. And there are so many gorgeous things or so many gorgeous places around your neighborhood. Look at this mansion. Wow. This is amazing. I mean, you don't even know. Look at the house right here. You don't even know what you got. I mean, it's insane. A lot of times we want to go and travel because I've been talking to the wife about vacationing spots. We want to take, wow, look at this one. We want to take a little vacation, right? Uh, essentially in the next couple months. And we think about those things, you know, where are we going to go on this and that. But if you look into your local area, there are so many gorgeous places that you can go so many beautiful places that you can visit so a lot of times we kind of concentrate on the wrong thing we concentrate on you know just essentially traveling out of state and things like that when you could go to so many beautiful places around your county so don't disregard that you know especially if you like going camping and things like that look at all these places there are so many places to camp here in florida that to me going out of state a lot of times is not even even necessary you know and you get to save some money you really do
Look at that. So far, this is an A plus, A plus ride. So big shout out to Randy out there in the front for taking me in this ride. Because so far, this is gorgeous. So anyway, so I was talking about hurricanes and all that stuff and some of my experiences right here. And I'm going to tell you, you know, we've been through several different ones here in Florida. Matthews was a big one that I remember. And there has been so many of them that I don't remember all the names. But Matthews was the biggest one because my son, Manny, was born a couple of days before Matthews hit. And we actually got sent home to, you know, with the baby. I mean, the baby had to be, Manny had to be a couple days old, right? And Stacy, you know, obviously she just gave, gave birth to, to a baby. Obviously she was recovering from, from, you know, from giving birth and all that stuff, right? So again, you know, we got sent home. I want to say guys, you know, Manny was maybe two to three days old, maybe three days. And it was insane. It was insane because she was still recovering and we have a new baby. And the thing about it, Yeah. As we went home, I remember that I got home and a couple hours after that, the hurricane actually hit. Like we showed up home a few hours, a few hours before the hurricane actually, you know, making it to our house. And it was really scary. My brother-in-law, big shout out to him. He was helping out a lot. He was blocking the windows, doing all that stuff. And I remember looking in the, or listening to the radio and the guy was like, you guys are going to die kind of thing. Like, there, it is too late. And I remember thinking to myself, well, do we got to leave or something? But where are we going to go? You really, where are we going to go? We have a wife that just had a baby. I got two other kids. I got dogs. I got my in-laws. And, you know, obviously we were like, no, I mean, we're just going to stay home. And, and we're going to barricade ourselves and kind of like pray to the good Lord Jesus Christ that we be all right, right? And we made it. Thanks, you know, thanks to good Lord. But I remember listening into the radio and, and people, you know, some of these weathermen are insane. You know, they're passing not, not the information that should be passed. They're pretty much lying to the audience. And it was really, really scary. After that, there was a couple other ones. I can't remember if it was Maria or not that it hit. And essentially, we were with no power for about five days, something like that. Matthews, we were also with no power for four or five days. But... I remember, I think it was Maria, when everybody was evacuating out of Florida, I mean, it was insane. Uh, I-95 coming out was completely packed. People was taking them, you know, hours upon hours. And because of work, I had to stay. I really had to stay and no place to go. And we kind of barricaded ourselves again and, and you know, prayed to the good Lord that we'd be all right. And we were okay. I'm going to tell you, those, those events were pretty scary. You know, now the house that I have, is pretty much set up for hurricanes in a way. I could cover all the windows, I could do all that stuff. And you know, I could, again, at one point, you just have all the preparations that you have and you just pray to God that, you know, that he will protect you because at one point it's out of your control. At one point it's really out of your control. This house is all beautiful, man. Yes, beautiful. I don't even know if that's a house or a building. Wow. So I'm going to tell you, when it comes to me, hurricanes and things like that, I know we kind of, you know, laugh about it right now saying, hey, you know what? There was a hurricane, but nothing happened. And again, it's all jokes and things like that, but I'm just happy. You know, I'm happy that, you know, the hurricane didn't came through. You know, the hurricane was whatever it went. I'm just happy because I'm going to tell you, it's no joke, really no joke. And every year we prepare for it. Every year we get food, water, many other preparations that I typically discuss on my main channel, you know, batteries, flashlights, things like that. And every year it seems like it that we have to deal with, you know, one of the last year, we actually had some power lines that failed. Obviously, you know, regular power lines and they landed, one of them landed or the one that fell landed on top of my driveway. So it was like right there. And it took about, I want to say a good, three, four days before they removed that power line out of my driveway. And again, you know, I'm not playing with power. 
you know, that could kill you. So we kind of stay away from that until it was repaired. So all you could do is prepare, you know, every year we do that. And then obviously pray that the good Lord will protect us. And that's pretty much about it. Look at this. Wow. I'm thinking we're taking that bridge. I'm thinking, I don't know. Look at this house right here to the right. Nice. Probably multi-million dollar houses right there. Not fun when the hurricane comes. I'll tell you that right now. Look at that. Just coming out of the parking lot, this lady hits uh, a pot of water, boom. All water all over me. The girl hit a pot of water, put water all over me. Yeah. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Me and Randy are gonna go and check out a different place. I'll probably make another video out of that and share it with you guys. Appreciate you guys watching, and as always, God is in control.